Hey, Dad. Are you alright, son? Yeah, alright. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah, it was really fun. Okay, well, look, go upstairs and wash your hands because uh, lunch is nearly ready. Okay. when he died. And when I said to her how much it okay, was... So it's okay. okay. So, what's the problem with that? It's just to bring that left us a little money he had. And when I said to her, she laughed in my face. Who is this? Elena, Jeremiah, Chris, Jennifer, let's eat. We are coming. Yo. Have you done your homework, Chris? Oh, no, yes, Father. Okay. Listen, when we've eaten, take a shower and I'll take you to football. If you say so. Jennifer, take something for that headache of yours. Right, I will. Okay. Let's eat. She laughed in my face. 
Mama, darling, have a seat, love. Yes, it suddenly collapsed. I don't know what happened to her. She's not responding to anything and she's not breathing properly. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jeremiah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Come sit here. You wouldn't believe what happened last night. Well, Kelly was taken to the hospital. Really? Her husband told me they were having dinner last night around 9 o'clock. And she started to complain about having a headache. And then she fainted. And he took her to the hospital. Did I wake you, son? No, I was just resting. Hey, listen, we've just been shopping and uh, we've, we've bought you a present. Something you really like. 
Chocolate! Yeah, it's your favourite. Dad, I need to tell you something. What is it, son? Um, I was wondering, would you let me go to the church tonight? Well, what church? Well, I mean, I don't know her, but a friend of mine's going at seven tonight. It starts at seven? Well, what time does it finish? I don't know, it must be, like, around about nine. Well, I'll speak to your mum, but it's very late. Look, I'll go downstairs and speak with her, OK? Leave it with me. OK. Thanks, Dad. OK. Elena? Yes, John? Jeremiah wants to go out tonight. Where does he want to go? To church with one of his mates. John, you know fairly well that I have spent all these years committed to teaching the children to be good, responsible and generous people. But he's only going to visit. John. You know that the biggest war in the world is caused by religions? And that's a true brainwash. Look, just relax. Let the boy go out and make new friends. He's no longer a baby. I guess he can go. Jeremiah! This one? You can go, but take a shower, okay? Okay, thanks, Dad. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father without Him. No one. His death was not in vain. He died, but He was resurrected to give us life and that we may have it more abundantly. There is only one thing for you to do, one thing, which is to accept him as the savior of your soul. This decision will change your life and give you eternal salvation. Hallelujah. Jeremiah, do you want to accept Jesus Christ as your savior? Yes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I'm going to pray over you, is that all right? Thank you. Father God, we pray to you through Jesus Christ in the spirit. We pray that you will abide in Jeremiah, that you will protect him, and guide him and order his steps in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning, son. Mm. How was yesterday in the church, son? Oh, it was cool. Cool? What are you on about? Cool is my rock and roll, brother. Us. No, I can't, sorry. What's up? Um, I need to go to my band practice, I'm already late. This has been really weird recently. Really? Are you studying, son? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. 
need to, need to study more to pass this history test. Hey, listen. I've got a present for you. Thanks, Dad. What is it? It's the best present a person can receive. It's a Bible. When I had my disability, I was 13 years old. I had no friends. I had big problems in my life. And then your grandma, she gave me this Bible and asked me to read it. Because God can give me the strength to carry on. And you know what, Jeremiah? He gave me the strength. Even with all my disabilities, I've, I've raised a family. And I've achieved so much. And now it's your turn to read this. Thanks, Dad. That's okay, son. this weekend? Good question. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm going to go get another drink. We're here to help you. I just want you to know that we are here to protect you. I, I saw a shadow. 
running. I couldn't move. Well, can you describe the shadow? What did it look like? It was... tall. Skinny. It was... It was... It was shaped like a man. Don't let him rest a while. Good night, okay. son. Okay. Chris, I'm really disappointed with you. This type of music you're listening to is changing your behaviour. Dad, how's Jeremiah? He's okay, he just needs to, he just needs to rest. You're gonna sleep here tonight. Why? Because your brother needs to rest. Well, go on then, go and do your teeth. I miss that time. Me too. Listen, what's wrong, Helena? Well, I feel that I'm much happier before than now. Look, I'm always happy with you. But the kids are having a hard time now. They need us more than ever. Well, we dedicate so much time. Teach them right from wrong. And now, look at Chris. He's so aggressive. And look what happened to Jeremiah yesterday. Look, you need to understand we're doing the best we can as parents. This phase they're going through, it's adolescence. They're not yet kids, but they're not adults either. Well, I'm so frightened. They choose the wrong way. Look, when we plant the seed, it's very important that we water it every day. Then we stop watering it and it gets its own food. What we're teaching our children is to grow up fine young adults. Otherwise, how will they learn? Well... That's true. Trust in God. He is in control of everything. You're right about that. What should we eat? Good question. <laughs> Water? Huh? Oh, no thanks, it's okay. Oh, hey, I've got a question for you. Yeah? In your opinion, where does man come from? From God? From evolution? Jeremiah? Jeremiah? Jeremiah, okay? Oh don't know. I can't explain it. I'll just try. Jennifer, I see... Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know what I see. I just... I see things. What type of things? Like... Like shadows. And men running inside our house. Don't worry. I believe you.
Tell us what happened, son. Tell us, we're here to help you. I just want you to know that we are here to protect you. It's all right now. Thanks. Um, okay, tell it to move along. Okay. See you. Big hugs to your family. Jeremiah's room. Thank you. Wait, Mom, don't close the door. Hello. Hi. I'm this guy? His name is Joe. He's your brother's friend. Right, so Jeremiah can have his friends coming around, but I can't have my friends coming around here. Sam, you dropped the ball. Now you pay the price. Jeremiah! Hey, come in. <sighs> I'm tired. The training was hard. I bet it was. Are you feeling okay? Oh, stomach ache. Say, what were you doing here while I was away? Joe, so much has happened. Hi boys, would you like a drink? Oh, no thanks mum. Orange please. Okay. Joe, I'm gonna tell you something because you're my best friend. Cheers mate. When you were away, I started to see unexplainable things. What have you seen? I saw people. Appear and disappear. 
shadows running. I don't know what it is. Really? What, have you ever seen anything like that? Never, nor do I want to see. Thank you for the juice, Miss Elena, but I'm leaving. I just dropped by to say hello. Joseph, long time no see. Hi, John, you are right? Yeah, um, how are your family? Everyone is good. Sorry, but I really have to go. Speak to you later. All right, well, give my regards to your mum and dad. All right, cheers. Bye. Bye. shopping so I'll give you a lift if you like. Okay, um, thanks Dad. Okay, love you Mum. Love you too honey. See you later. See you. So where is the church? Two roads down from the school. Okay. So how are your friends, uh, Paul and... Um, Joseph. Joseph. Are they okay? Yeah, they're all right. Joseph yeah. just got back from his holidays. And then Paul, I see every day. Why don't you invite Paul to uh, dinner next weekend? Okay. Where do we go now? Turn left here. What, left here? Yeah. Right, listen, son, the day has come. What day? The day for you to tell the pastor the vision you had. Oh, yeah, I'll try. He's a priest of God. He's a right man to listen to you. Okay. Okay? See you later. Love you, Dad. Thanks for taking me. Jeremiah, you can depend on me. I'm not here to judge you. Thank you, Pastor. Um, I've started to see weird things. What type of things are those? Well, shadows running around in my house. Like, just this morning, I saw a shadow flash right by my sister. When it happens, I lose all my strength. I get completely paralyzed by it. Hmm. What feeling does this bring? Fright. 
And how do you deal with this, Fred? Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't. I don't know where it comes from, or why it even comes. Okay, let's analyze this. You said that these apparitions frighten you. Fright does not come from God. No, it doesn't. It comes from the enemy you mentioned. You cannot fight against it. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, the Lord tells us that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the devil, not our brothers. What you are facing is a spiritual battle. When you see these things and you feel frightened, just rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Why in the name of Jesus? Because this name is above all names. But why does it happen to me though? His name is above all names. He died and was resurrected. And the Holy Father gave him all power. There is a passage in the Bible, Jeremiah, that Jesus said, we have power to step on serpents and scorpions. But I still don't understand. Why does it happen to me? Son, this is because you have a calling. You have a calling from God. It's a precious thing from the Lord. But what should I do with it? Jeremiah, today you may not understand it. But tomorrow you'll look back and you will help people with this gift that you've been given. You know, talking of this, I remember all the time that I really wanted something really bad to happen to this person that I know. And then the day after, it did. How does this work? My son, God created everything. Everything that you say comes out of the mouth has power. If you wake up in the morning and say that you're going to have a disastrous day, you'll have a disastrous day. On the other hand, if you say that you're going to have a blessed day, you'll have a blessed day. Well, the last time, well, when it did happen, I did feel really bad, and I didn't want to do anything. That's good, just by the fact that you felt bad. By causing harm to someone generated the feeling of regret. We must repent from our malicious acts, and the Lord will have mercy upon us. How is this person today? Last I heard, she was in the hospital. Well, let's pray to God and ask him to forgive you and to heal this person. Yes, of course. Yeah? Okay, let us pray. Father God, we pray for this person that was made sick, Lord. We pray that you will heal him in the name of Jesus. And we pray that no weapon formed against my son Jeremiah will prosper. I pray that the spirits will have to remove. Every time he rebukes them in the name of Jesus, that they will be rebuked and will not come back no more. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.
Dad? What is it, son? Dad, I can't sleep. I'm going to go to the church after 7. It's 4am. Yeah, I know, but the church is open at 5 every morning. OK. Well, look after yourself, son. Everything's fine, son. Fine. Oh, I just thought you looked a bit... You know. E aí, Kelly? Como você está? Eu estou melhor. Mas eu prefiro não falar mais disso. Eu, eu vim aqui mesmo porque eu queria te pedir desculpa. Olha, sei que eu te ofendi, que eu fui muito indelicada com você, que eu disse coisas que eu não deveria. Queria saber se você me perdoa. Claro que eu te perdoo, Kelly. Você é minha amiga, esquece isso. Mas me fala como está a sua saúde. Eu tive dia, um dia muito, muito cruel, sabe? Eu fiquei muito tempo internada naquele hospital. Eu quase morri, Helena. Posso imaginar. Mas sabe que... Lá foi o único lugar que eu pude realmente ficar sozinha comigo mesma. Eu pude realizar, pude, pude perceber o quão vazia a minha vida era. Como me escurei sem amor. Olha, eu vejo que você mudou. Isso é muito bom. E eu fico muito feliz. Eu também tô feliz, sabe? Eu tô bem feliz. Sabe por quê? Fala. Ah. Porque eu encontrei a Deus. Isso é muito bom.
meet you, Jeremiah. Come in, come in. Lan, I've brought Jeremiah today because he needs help. Okay, how can I help you, Jeremiah? Um, I've been attacked by spirits, both physically and spiritually. I've talked to the pastor and he's helped me a lot. Okay, and what did he say to you? He said that in spiritual battle, we only need to use Jesus' name and we'll be free. Amen. The pastor said I've got a gift, but I'd like to know why this is happening to me. When Paul's granddad died, I went through something similar. That's when I started going to the church group. The Bible says even a single leaf falls off the tree because God permits. There's a time for everything. God is allowing that to happen to you so he can qualify you as a messenger here on earth. So what should I do? You must read the Bible. Pray, because it's the only way to speak to the Father. Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. The Lord will qualify you. However, you mustn't give up. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If I say, the Lord is my refuge, and you will make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift up in your hands so, so that you will not strike the foot against the stone. You will trend on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, saith the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him. For he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Crazy boy. Um, listen, they've all gone shopping today. They've gone out to the shopping mall. What for? Well, certainly not a load of Bibles for you to read. Do you know what? Um, do you want to come play football with me? No, you go. No, you go. All the time. You go. Do you know what? Can I tell you something? You, you are a really lonely person. You are always by yourself. Lonely, 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 lonely. Look at you sitting there reading your little Bible like a priest or something. My goodness. Let me tell you something, when you go home and you get there, you close the door and go upstairs, you know what? Don't throw yourself out the window and make a splash when you're killing yourself to do it. So where are the kids today? Well, Jennifer and Jeremiah are at the friend's house and Grace are recording a song. 
You know how I feel about that. Well, he likes to play the guitar, so I think he should, you know, go for what he wants. And uh, he's happy, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> but uh, I want to talk to you about something else. I'm thinking about take Jeremiah to a psychologist. A psychologist? Yes. He doesn't need a psychologist. He needs God. Well, I think he needs some help. And the uh, psychologist would be, you know, someone giving us advice to go through the situation. Okay. If you think that's, if you think it's going to work, then fine, but... I still think he needs God, but, but fine. Try that route. Okay. I'll see how it goes, yeah. Okay, I'll give him a call tomorrow. Well, Mr. Jeremiah, I was a bit bad with you earlier on, but now we need to speak really seriously about something. And you know what? You need to find help quickly. Well, I'm fine. You need help. You need a lot of help. I'm okay. No, you you're, you're not okay because you know why? You're seeing things and mum's getting really, really upset I used because to she's worrying quite a lot so yeah it's okay you know I found help through the church you found help through the church yeah. how did you find help through the church the pastor helps me how did the pastor help you well Jesus speaks through the pastor see that's the sign of you going crazy Jesus speaks through the pastor it's true I mean you might not believe in God but I do and you, I just you don't understand. Listen, let me tell you something. You need to understand that what's most important here is mum's health because she's starting to go crazy because she's upset and she needs to see a solution in you. And the only way she can see that is by you going with her to the psychologist. Now let me tell you something. If you don't believe in the psychologist, you believe in the health of church, that's fine with me. You can, you can do that. That floats your boat, you can do that. Go with her to, to the psychologist, just to make her feel better, because what matters to me Fun. is that she feels better. Alright? You okay with that? Alright, I'll think about it. Yeah? Alright. Come in. Come in. I thought I could hear you outside. So, you must be the young Jeremiah. I am. Pleasure to meet you. Me Please, get yourself. Get comfortable, like that. Don't worry about the shoes. Jeremiah, I understand you've been having some nightmares recently? Jeremiah, what about those nightmares? They're not nightmares. That's okay. What would you call them? They are real. When you say they're real, what exactly do you mean? I see them. Go on. When I'm awake. How often do you see them? It's probably about... Well, well it's, it's getting more regular now, I guess. I see. Listen. Have you ever experimented I don't some... do drugs. was going to say. What? You're a liar! It's okay. It's okay. You have no idea what you're doing, do you? Just relax. Wait, wait, is that what you said to Yvette before you started touching her inappropriately? What? How do you know that? No. Everything. 
everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forevermore. Millions of people are tormented by bad spirits and they don't know what to do. Some of those millions are stuck in hospitals with mental disorders. Another part is oppressed by society and are labelled as crazy. They don't have friends and many of them end up committing suicide because of a lack of love and understanding from those who can only see the physical body. However, there's a minority like Jeremiah that find a way to fight against these things and overcome them. Jesus was a solution he found to win over them and to be freed from their oppression.
natural contact. <laughs> oh my God,